All right, it is movie review time again, and I just recently saw the new Nicolas Cage movie, Renfield, which is a, uh, I'll call it a modern day uh, uptake of Dracula. More told from his servant Renfield's side. And uh, I mean, Dracula is in the movie, but it's more about uh, Renfield than, of course, it is Dracula. Uh, it's trying to be a horror comedy slash action movie, and I just didn't feel it, it worked. I know comedy is very, very subjective. What I find funny, you're not going to find funny necessarily, and it can be hard to write comedy that's going to reach a very, very broad audience, but I just, it did not work for me on the comedy scale. Uh, the horror part, it's not really scary. Um, I mean, it does have a lot of action, uh, it being that it's Dracula, you know, there's a lot of blood all over the place, but I, the mesh of it together just did not work for me. In fact, I felt like this was a race to see who could make the worst vampire slash Dracula movie in the last couple of years. And if you know that I'm referring to Morbius, which uh, most people did not like. And I know that's a Marvel, but it's Marvel Vampire, and they both are just on the low end of the scale. Uh, now, I do like Nicolas Cage uh, as an actor. Um, I know that he can be hit and miss because he just has made so much uh, in the last several years, but he really, to me, just cannot save the movie overall. I mean, he's not bad in the role of Dracula, um, but it's just not enough to to save the movie. Um, I just, I really, really disliked it. Um, it's one, to me, one of the worst movies of the year so far. Um, I certainly would not see it in the theater. I think it's starting to already leave a lot of places. This is going into its third weekend, but, you know, it didn't open very well at the start. And then last weekend, it had a pretty big drop, and I don't expect it to be out, but maybe another couple of weeks, and then it's going to show up, you know, on video on demand and, and streaming service soon. I would wait until then if I were you, if you really, really want to see this movie. If you haven't already spent the money, don't go see it in theaters. Um, be prepared to be disappointed. That's all I can really say. Um, I'm going to give it a half star out of five.